Let's talk about homogeneous equation, and this is all about how to solve a differential equation by using a substitution. And this is the form that we want to stop with. I isolate the dy dx on one side and put everything else onto the other. And suppose this is not linear, this is not exact, this is not separable. Then try the following. Try your really best to write this into an expression that's in terms of y over x. And we will now call this to be g of y over x. And once again, y over x has to be together, and that's the one input, okay? And if we can make this happen, next, what we are going to do is, we are going to let phi, just another variable, and usually we call this to be phi. We let phi equals to y over x, and then we have to figure out what's dy dx in terms of phi as well. So that way, we can take this differential equation into a differential equation that involves v and x only. So right here, v is equal to y over x. That's multiply x on both sides. So we have y is equal to v times x. And notice that y is a function of x. x is, of course, a function of x. v is equal to y over x. So of course, v is also a function of x. Since y is equal to v times x, we differentiate both sides. The left-hand side is dy dx, that's it. But then on the right-hand side, we have to use the product rule, okay? So we keep v, and the derivative of x is 1, and then we add it with, we keep x, and we multiply by the derivative of v, which is dv dx, because v is a function of x. So this right here is what we're going to use to replace dy dx, and now we have v plus x dv dx, and this will be g of v. And now once we have this right here, we can subtract v on both sides, and we have g of v minus v on the right-hand side, and x times dv dx on the left-hand side, right? We can divide g of v minus v on both sides, and that's what we have. And let's multiply dx on both sides, and then we have to divide by x on both sides, so we have 1 over x. And you see, now this becomes separable, right? It becomes separable if you have that v. And of course, this is separable, we can solve it, and after you solve that, just make sure you write your answer in terms of y and x at the end. Let me use this to demonstrate these steps right here. So, this is what we have, and let me tell you, this is not separable, this is not exact, this is not linear, okay? This is not separable at the moment, but I will make it into separable, because I can do that. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite this in terms of dy dx is equal to whatever, right? So I want this form. Let me add x squared dy on both sides, but let me put it down here first though. So we will have x squared dy positive, okay? And then I'll keep this on the left-hand side, but I will make this still positive. xy plus y squared plus x squared dx, okay? So once again, I just move this to the right-hand side, so it becomes positive, but I put that down first, because I want to have the dy on the left-hand side. Next, I'm just going to divide both sides by dx, right? The usual business, so they cancel. I'll divide by dx right here as well, so I can get a dy dx, but then I will have to divide it by x squared, like that, so that this will cancel. And we will see this is dy dx, equals to, and now let's simplify this carefully. We have x, y over x squared, so we will get the x cancel out, but we still have one more x on the bottom. We will have y over x first. And then plus, this is y squared over x squared, that can be cancelled out, right? However, let me look at this as y over x and then square, because I want to have in this form, okay? So let me rewrite this as y over x and then square. At the end, x squared over x squared is just 1, so plus 1, like this. And you see, on the right-hand side here, we have y over x, and then this right here is also y over x, right? So as you can see, y over x are together, and that's pretty much the input. So we can do this, right, because we achieved it. We're going to do the following. So here we go, we are going to say let 
equals to y over x and of course it's pretty much all that so we can just well let me just do it again y is equal to phi times x and then you know dy dx is equal to phi da, uh, times 1 plus x d phi dx suppose i didn't have that on the before i have had to do this again right but anyways replace this with dy dx and now that's what we get on the left hand side we have phi plus x dv dx and that will be equal to y over x is phi so we have that equal to phi and then we add it with this is v and then square so we have v square like this and then we have the plus one after that okay you see we have v here v here so these two v's cancel and let me just divide this on both sides and then let me just divide the x on both sides multiply the dx on both sides on the left hand side we'll end up with one over v squared plus one along with the dv and this will be we divide the dx we divide the x on both sides so right here and then we multiply the dx on both sides like this and then of course you see all the v's and dv's are together and all the x and the dx are together just separate it integrate integrate on the left hand side we have the inverse tangent of phi right this right here is the inverse tangent of phi and on the right hand side we have the natural log absolute value of x and then we put down plus a constant so this is pretty much it right we solve the differential equation right here however we are still in the v right so we have to make sure you have to change things back into uh, the y well usually whenever we can we solve for the variable so let me just put this down right here since we know the left hand side is the inverse tangent of v that means v is equal to the regular tangent of this right i can just take the original tangent on both sides and be sure that c is inside of the tangent on the left hand side this and that will cancel we will just have the v by itself at the moment and that's equal to tangent of ln absolute value of x and then plus c like this this is not absolute value this is supposed to be a parenthesis v is y over x so we have this is y over x equals to that tangent parenthesis ln absolute value of x plus c of course at the end we can just multiply x on both sides finally y is equal to x times tangent parentheses of right, of um, ln of absolute value of x and then the plus is outside like this and we are done that's it